What? I saved state. Why am I back here? Ah, uh, I've got to load game again. Hey. Well, now it seems to not really... I seem to be having, um... Frame troubles again. Anyway. Let's do this stuff again. So let's make him the knight for now. Even though he has an eventual goal towards Archer, so should I really make him a knight? Will Archer in be able to enjoy the uh, knight's abilities? What do you think? Or should I should I stick with chemist or something, get the auto potion, and then change into an archer when I have a bow and arrow? And uh, whereas she can stay as chemist because. Yeah, so I wouldn't mind him being Squire and getting up to 300 JP, right, for that auto potion? Wait, where is auto potion? How does the. Oh, well, a chemist. A chemist one adds the, adds the auto potion, sorry. The archer can use the knight's abilities at range, which is really neat synergy. Alright, deal. So I'm gonna make him a knight. then turn him into an archer. If I still need him, I might have another might have other members in my party by then. And then she can be a chemist until I make her a <clears throat> a knight. Yeah, yeah, looks good, looks good, looks good. Tristana. So she's staying a squire. Not squire. Chemist, right? She's a chemist. Wow, I love the female the look of the female knight. And even the female archer. That's really cool. That one's a little bit sexier though. What's this female monk? She looks like a boxer. Or she's wearing some kind of she's wearing heavy armor or something like that. Like yeah, she can stay as a chemist. Alright, uh, and so I'll equip him. Oh, he's already got battle boots. So who can best take advantage of the battle boots? Maybe the... Chemist, I think. Yeah, so she can get around the people and heal them and what have you. That's my plan for now. It would be more effective as a knight with a quick boat. That's strange. I think I want an archer just for variety's sake. Save game again. Go, 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 no random encounters, boo yeah. What madness possessed you that you would abandon your post to traipse about the desert? Oh man, Dice Dog Beauv. Is it Beauv? Is that how I pronounce it again? I forgot. I wasn't traipsing. I was on a mission. Hey, Dub Squad. Hey, what's going on, man? What brings you to my uh, Final Fantasy Tactics stream? I think it, I get the impression Dope Squad's more just a fan of streaming. I think he loves video games and loves hanging out in people's streams. Uh, 
Uh, this is starting to feel more like um, Star Wars lore, at least in this little capturing this little essence where <clears throat> you know the Jedi Order are so beholden to the rules that they can't they can't even operate effectively. Actually, I, I tend to draw a lot of comparisons to Star Wars with my whenever I play a game. I did, I did it in Shadow of the Colossus, I did it in Metal Gear Solid 3, and I just made one here. But I mean, that's a very <clears throat> surface connection I just made here. Who is this? Is this Lord Father? No, 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 this is the other guy. Oh, I hate that haircut. That has to be the worst haircut in all of history, of all time. That is a pure bowl cut with a big, with a large beard and no mustache. That's hardcore. And I've seen it in movies, and I just don't know how it ever happened. Is the chat still going, or what? You guys still there? I love how these two characters look similar, except for the one with the awful, awful haircut. And the one with the awful haircut is actually seems more rational at this point. What's up with that? Oh, sorry, Asma. <laughs> Blog. I still have a problem with the term Corpse Brigade. It just feels like they're trying to make it sound so ominous and scary, but it's it's actually kind of funny. But I mean, I guess maybe the point is to drive home like this: the fact that they're ostensibly like a really they've given like the you know most. Uh, evil sounding thing, like over the top evil sounding name they could have a one of, like a, a, just a, this grandiose example of it but actually they're, they're not necessarily doing uh, doing evil deeds necessarily Yeah, they, I mean, they have pointed, like, you felt them, you have felt that that is the case a few times, but you mean it's, it's dissimilar in that sense to Game of Thrones, where Jon Snow the Bastard was very obviously treated with contempt? Not that I've only ever seen up to the end of Season 2 of Game of Thrones, by the way. So no spoilers. Yeah, I, yeah, I see your point. I mean, it's there. It's obviously there, and it's it's, it's hanging there. But they, uh, you're right. It's not it's not drawing heavily upon that for the, for the tension, as you say. It's relying on the other parts of the story. Lug, by the way, is a terrible name, but it also happens to perfectly suit his hairstyle. That hairstyle should forever be known as the Lug. 
Maybe now I should go shopping? Hey, did this price change? This seems awfully expensive now. Bowgun, longbow. Ah, I can have an archer now. Didn't I already get a buckler? I'm pretty sure I did. I think I should buy a bow, yeah. What's the difference between a bow and a bow gun? Attack 4, range 5, too high. Attack 3, block 5, range 4. So this one allows you to block. Ah, oh, because you can equip a shield or you can have a defensive arm. Ah, I see. I think I want the longbow though. Ah, I see. Well, this will be interesting then. Sure, I can see that. I, uh, I also see then why the tactical advantage to the re-equip um, menu item job ability. Alright, I'm gonna go the longbow. I guess I should probably get both, right? I might just get both, and then that way if the situation deems that I can switch. Maybe another buffalo? Can I equip this stuff yet, or do I need to learn the knight abilities to actually make use of them? Shoulder cape, hello. Hell yeah, I think I want a shoulder cape. AEV physical 10, magic 10. So this adds to evasion of physical attacks and magical attacks. Well, I feel like you both just gave me conflicting answers. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm with you now. You both gave me the same answer, just worded it differently. I feel like I should get the shoulder cape. I should get a couple of shoulder capes. I feel like I should. I feel like I should. I feel like I can afford them. Alright, well, let's get a couple of these things. Yeah. Did I already get a shoulder cape? I think I want a couple more. I think I want some leather armor too. I might be going overboard here. I can always sell some stuff too, right? Maybe I should look at more swords also. Blind knife. Anyway, let's um let's equip some stuff and then we'll check it all out. Um uh, party roster. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So he can't actually have much equipped. Yeah, I do have a knight. So he's optimized completely. So that's a little... He can't even equip a cape. You'd think a monk would be awesome with a cape. You look like a Jedi. Oh, boring. I don't want to equip you with anything. Wait, aren't you the knight? It says squire. I thought I changed him to a knight. What's up with that? Oh, no, I'm going to make him an archer, actually. Ah, oh, but I'm going to make him a knight first. 
We should just make him an archer now. I think I should just make him an archer now. Let's do it. Let's make him an archer. Bam, archer. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm with you now. So accessories is either battle boots or the cape. So... I might equip the capes on my characters with the long range, so... Um... No, I might do it on my mages. Okay, I see what you mean about the um, optimize. It didn't really do much for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I feel like a lot of the stuff I bought is now completely useless. But once I have a knight, because she's still learning stuff, right? So let's check out her abilities, see how far away she is from uh, the auto potion. She's still a long way from auto potion before I make her a knight. <laughs> really? Let's go check out, see what else I can buy then. Ah, I just went to the tavern accidentally. Shit. Ooh, actually, I might check out some of this stuff in a second, but after I buy some, some good stuff. Alright, so what clothes can I wear? I tried buying, like, leather armor. So nobody can actually equip this stuff. So there's no clothes I can actually buy. Where should I go to buy clothes? Should I bought it at a different town or what? Alright. Yeah, all good. I don't even think I want to sell anything yet. I can probably sell a couple of Mithril Knives. Sold, yes. I can probably sell a couple of Broadswords. I might even just sell all of them. I sell three. Just in case I need to equip somebody with this stuff. Dagger. Sell three. Why not? Well, I'm not going back to Dorda now. I'll just continue on. Next time I get there, I'll, I'll just bulk upgrade all my dudes. Um, well, I've got a lot of leather caps. And I have five of them equipped. How could five of them be equipped? That's a bit weird. Um, I'll keep these. I've got all these leather armors going to waste, bronze armor going to waste, linen cuirass going to waste, clothing, just clothing, doesn't even have a description, just clothing. Why are they all equipped? Look at all this shit just going to waste. Well anyway, next time I get the chance to buy some stuff, I'll be buying some good stuff because I'll have more money and more more experience and more job levels, so that'll be alright, that'll be fun. That was actually when I... um. Played through Final Fantasy VII the first time. 
like, my level was so low and I was so shit at the game that I was constantly escaping from battles and I didn't have much money, so every time I got to a new town, it was like a big deal. I had to decide what armor I was going to buy and for who and all that kind of stuff, and it made the game so much fun. Like, that was, like, having to decide, having to strategize, you know, ration out your money and your equipment and all that kind of stuff adds to a game. Simply buying the best of everything at every new town and, you know, across the board, upgrading all your characters isn't as fun. Let's check out the tavern. Let's hear some rumors, buddy. Brigandry is on the rise across the land, and Galleon has by no means been spared. Wains are struck and pillaged. High ranking officials taken to sword point. Most of the incidents in this past six months are believed to be the work of a company of felons and former cell swords known as the Force Brigade. It is often said that the only good brigand is a dead brigand. And the Order of the Northern Sky would like not more than to see... So we're part of the Order of the Northern Sky, right? They just keep calling us the Order. And to see the Brigade more made corpses for true. But as yet, it is all the knighthood can do to keep the outlaws in check. I like that there's, like... Just in that little thing, right? So <clears throat> you kind of get glimpses of what it's like to be in, say, a totalitarian regime. So these guys, I'm sure, I don't know, there's not enough of the story for me yet to know if life is actually good inside, you know, the castle walls, like, so where the aristocracy rules. But if it's not, and there's every reason to believe that maybe it's not as great as one would think because of all the, you know, the rebels that are fighting it and the war just ended and all this kind of stuff. So it's possible that this is a totalitarian regime and the people who live inside it, you know, think that this is how good life is and life on the outside is way worse. And yeah, the, the corpse brigade are the bad guys and all this kind of stuff. And so they believe that, and there's a, you know, control of information happening there. If, I mean, this is the impression I'm kind of getting, because I get the impression that, you know, the Corpse Brigade have noble intentions, at least the way they see it, for their morality. Fifty years is a long time for war. As long as it was an actual war, if it's just like North Korea, South Korea, and there's like a permanent armistice, then maybe it doesn't count, but... Especially with how few people seem to live in this world. I know it's just a representation, there's more people, but that's a long time to be a war. Like, the populations just must be devastating. You'd think a lot of the merchants as well would be quite rich. They should, a lot of the aristocracy should be... It should be a mercantile aristocracy, right? King Devan III and his failure to name a successor. Okay, okay, the trace to the death of Lord Darling's King Devan. Oh, okay, so the failure to name a successor is kind of what happened to Genghis Khan. Or it might have been Genghis Khan's successor failed to name a proper successor. That's actually... Yeah. <clears throat> This is a little bit interesting. So this war started because of that. I remember listening to Hardcore History about um, the the Khan Empire. My uncle had gone through from time to self the rifle there and declared war on Ondalia. Well, that's a kind of a tragic... Yeah, so there's a few little mirrors to say, the Khan Empire. So I believe the great Khan, Genghis Khan named his successor. But then this Khan did not, or it's either him or the next one. And so there was actually a point in time where the Khan Empire was at its absolute peak and had taken just about all of Asia and uh, the Middle East and was moving into Europe. And the way Dan Carlin explains it was it was on the doorstep of France and it, it was already overtaking Russia. And the armies of Europe were nothing compared to the Muslim armies, nothing even further, even further removed compared to the Asian armies. And so they were going to take Europe, and this is this is going to be a huge thing. The Khan Empire was just going to take over the whole world, basically. And then 
the Great Khan inexplicably died and hadn't um, named a successor. And so the rule was that these armies that were on France's doorsteps just had to pull back because there was no there was no leader. So France was basically spared from the Khan Empire. And, like imagine imagine how how radically different the world might be today if uh, the Khan hadn't died or had named a successor or something like that. Anyway, that's a little tangent. I always just found that really, really interesting to think about. However, this was merely a pretense to justify the invasion of the neighboring Odalian province of Zalmonia. Once an independent state had been annexed by Odalia, nearly a century prior, Ivelis had since been aiding the province. So we are in Ivelis and Odalia, we're at war with Odalia, is that what's going on? Ivelis had since been aiding the province in an effort to weaken Odalia, an effort that ultimately failed. This is a pretty complex lore. Tired of Odalian rule, the Zelmonian leadership and nobility secretly petitioned Ivelis to take a more direct hand in their liberation. After a victory in Zelmonia, the Ivelisian armies marched on Odalian capital of Viura. Well, on the capital! That's pretty direct, as fate would have it. Danamda too succumbed to fatal illness on the road. The momentary confusion amongst Ivelis's troops gave Odalia the opportunity it needed to regroup. Okay, so I guess, I mean, there could be similarities to the Khan Empire here as well. And Veroy VI succeeded, but this is pre a pretty nuanced uh, political history we've got going on here. Veroy VI su 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 succeeded in pushing evolutions back as far as Zalmonia. The resulting impasse would not be broken until the Romand and Army's invasion two years hence. Okay, so it might not have been active battles for 50 years, but a lot of a lot of political and military tension is what I'm guessing. Romanda, a powerful military state lying across the Rana Strait, marched on Ivelisse at the behest of Veroy VI, a blood relation to the Romanda nobility. However, Denamda II's successor, Denamda IV, was a fearless warrior, personally leading his men to battle against the combined might of Romanda and Ordalia. This, along with an outbreak of the Black Death in Romanda, forced the Romanda. So hang on, wait, 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 I'm kind of lost here. Lying across the Rana Strait. So I don't know where the Rana Strait is, but Romanda is obviously another military state. March on Iblis. Okay, so they've joined up with Ordalia. However, Denamda II's successor was a fearless warrior, personally leading his men into battle against the combined might of Romanda and Ordalia. Okay. This along with an outbreak of the Black Death. Holy shit! So this is the stuff that really makes things interesting, these wildcard things like the Black Death breaking out in Romanda. Forced the Romandan army to withdraw after only three years. Like, holy shit! Um, what have you guys been talking about? <laughs> Sorry, Axe. Oh, so FF12 is set in the, in the same uniform, universe? I know that FF12 had a, a highly political story, but I know I just didn't get into the story in FF12 very much, and I didn't really enjoy the, um, the systems in place, the, the scripting systems. But it's very contemporary. There's probably nods here and there if it's into this. I think Vagrant Story was set between this and FF12. Yeah, I, I'm kind of tempted to stream Vagrant Story, but you're right, it probably wouldn't be a, great, a very interesting game to stream. Oh, sorry, I'm reading the chat. Character last was from Romanda. It's really cool because they had technology which appeared. So, like, this world where Ivelisse is set, uh, the city of Ivelisse, so this whole world, so this, did the stories of this game, Final Fantasy XII, Vagrant Story, only really take place within certain parts of the world? So, so Vagrant Story takes place within, a, as far as I know, I never finished it, a very tiny part of Ivelisse, and then this game sort of is expanding to the surrounding states. Does FF12 sort of take the whole planet into account. Sorry, I'm back. Blood relation to the Amanda nobility. Uh, is this really long, by the way? Successor. This is pretty heavy stuff for rumors. 
from the Tavern Master. However, Denamda's Denamda two successor was fearless where I blah, 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 forced to remain an arm for after only three years. Two military orders worthy of particular mention <laughs> in this conflict. I also like that the Tavern Master doesn't speak with the same lofty uh, magniloquence of the other characters in the game, so that's that's noticeable, and it, he's also much easier to read. Mention in this conflict of the Order of the Northern Sky. I imagine the dialect is going to play into the story when you, know, you start conversing more with the people from out of town and the non nobility class of a knight gallant Barbaneth Beuve and that of the Southern Sky, led by Kidolphus Orlando, known also as the Thunder Guard. After countless victories at home, these two orders had been poised to advance into Adalia. However, the protracted conflict had begun to take its toll on domestic morale. Peasant uprisings and revolts throughout Ivalice and Odalia forced both countries to send their troops home to pacify their citizens. Uh, domestic morale, of course. Yeah, that, of course, that's interesting. Peasant uprisings, yes, of course, and revolts throughout Ivalice and Odalia. So it's funny that they both happened uh, simultaneously. I wonder what he means by pacify their own citizens. So now it feels like they, they brought their troops home to impose some kind of martial law and like violently, not necessarily violently, but with a threat of violence, um, pacify their own citizens. So this is starting to sound more like a totalitarian state, or the beginning of a totalitarian state that I was talking about before. It was Denamda for sudden death by malady that broke his stalemate, although some claim that he was murdered his successor on Doria 3. I wonder if... Uh, this is when it gets hard to follow this stuff as well. Like, it happens in, like, Dostoevsky novels as well. And look at, like, Denanda 4, Denanda 2, and Doria 3, and all this kind of stuff. Like, if it doesn't... If you can't get, like, a real chronology, or if it doesn't come into play, like, the entire family tree at some point, like, it's kind of like, why are you even bothering to give them these names? was ill-suited to the throne and left the governing of Ivalice to his queen and retainers. Uh, okay, without Denam the Fall's leadership, the armies of Ivalice had little prayer of preventing the Roy Six's successor, Prince Leonard, and defeating the troops stationed at Salmonia and advancing into Ivalice proper. It also sounds like during this war there are quite a few moments where it could have gone either way, which of course happens in, in any war that's going to last for 50 years, right? It's also possible that I'm not reading that there's no such thing as Roman numerals in this universe, and so these people's names are actually Denamda Iv and Ondoria E and Denamda Iv and Veroy Vs. Ha <laughs> just a joke. Despite the valiant efforts of the Northern and Southern Orders, Ivalice failed to repel Prince Leonard's invasion of Zeltania. What the fuck is Zeltania now? Ivalice failed to repel Prince Leonard's invasion of Ivalice's lead. Maybe they mentioned it before, but it just got lost in the, in the word soup. Ivalice's leaders soon began looking for a peaceful alternative. This guy's a fucking historian, by the way. And can I even trust his recount of all this stuff? Like, he's a freaking peasant. Not a peasant, he's a business owner, but he's not of the nobility. He wouldn't be properly educated. Ivalice's leaders soon began looking for a peaceful alternative. In the end, both states agreed that prolonging the war would prove mutually detrimental, and the pact was signed allowing each nation to return to addressing domestic strife. An equal peace in name, it was a re in reality a defeat for Ivalice. Hmm, okay. I wonder if there's. No, not really. I was gonna. Never mind. The economy of Ivalice was brought to the very brink of ruin as it struggled to pay reparations to its former enemies and to repay the loans taken from neighboring states to fund its war effort. Soldiers returning from the front found themselves without pay and entire orders of knights were similar, summarily discharged from service. Okay, so this is making sense as to why so many of these knights are, are rebelling against Ivalice. Swelling ranks of the unemployed did little to relieve the people's distrust of the crown and the nobility. Well, I wonder why they can't go to neighboring states, though, or, you know, as refugees, or, like, poverty refugees, is that a thing? 
All right, let's let's read this one. The capital is rife with rumors that King Londoria III's condition has taken a sudden turn for the worse. Although official word is that he has been steadily improving since his collapse at Prince Arenas' Ar birthday celebration. Looks on the faces of his aides tell a different story. If the king should pass without naming a regent for the young prince, a battle over succession between the council and the crown seems inevitable. Yeah. That, so there seems to be a lot of political tension going on in this world. I like reading this stuff, so read it as long as you're interested, if not, yeah, yeah, of course, that's interesting. It's pretty heady stuff, though. Actually, I have the pillars of eternity, with all that lore that's just jammed into it. I'm reading, I'm stealing myself to play it. What was the other game again, not pillars of eternity, that I wanted to play? I forget. So remember the Tavern Master is giving you the apparent events, but you're being told through the events of this playthrough, the events that went unrecorded. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, very good. I remember now, Esmo. Good point. Yeah, of course. VI. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, I mean, that stuff's interesting, of course. And it's, it's quite detailed, and I just hope it's kind of consistent with the, the rest of the game's story. Um, I, maybe I just won't bother with this stuff. I'll just continue with the... Um, thanks for dropping in. He must have been bored and lonely and just finished reading a history novel. Uh, let's save. Not Planescape Torment, though. I, yeah, Divinity is it Divinity of Sin. Divinity, Divinity Original Sin. That's what I wanted to play. Hey, would Crisis Call be worth streaming? By the way. I didn't buy potions. No, I forgot to buy potions. Oh, We're gonna have to go back. Oh, no, he should be at the back line. I feel like everyone should be at the back line now. Yeah, so, yeah, I did equip a bow. Yeah, so Andy, if, if, like, getting stuck in the lore and the story is a problem for you, then, like, maybe, was, like, Metal Gear Solid a problem to you, and Metal Gear Solid 3, or Metal Gear Solid 2 a problem, Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Breath of Fresh Air? And if Asmo, you, you have no problem just sort of getting stuck in these, um, these in-depth lore and all this additional information to sort of give a more robust picture, maybe you will enjoy Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, I think that'll be the plan. Damn chocobos. These things are sons of bitches to fight. Hey, am I not am I mages cut off from the rest of the rest of the people in this battle? Yeah, so Metal Gear Solid 2 is not as well presented, but it's just filled with so much information, and it's a much more robust story. It's not necessarily better, but it's just full to the brink. It's overflowing with detail. Um, Alright, so I think what I want to do is put him here. and then I'll get everyone else to wait behind it. Yeah, I'm getting frame rate issues again. Ooh, there's more there's goblins there as well.
can't do anything. Damn it! Okay, let's go down here. Maybe I should have moved Woody uh, Ramza one square less. Oh, they can still get through. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna move him there. He should probably be behind, but I think he has more HP than the other characters, so. Act. Oh no, I need to. Shit. He doesn't have focus anymore. I might as well just attack. I oh, can't reach anything. God damn it. Screwed this fight up. Shit! These guys are in a terrible position, and they might even get intercepted by that Jaguar or whatever it is. How far can he reach? Not far enough. Alright, well, I guess he can just wait. She must have battle boots. Uh -huh. no, no, she oh yeah, I should have cast protect on her. Oh, that was silly of me. Yeah. Ah, uh, damn it! I cast protect on them. Uh, is there a zoom out function? I wouldn't mind zooming out a little bit. Especially because the, the screen gets a little cluttered with all the uh, menus. UI. Yeah, so I need to uh, update there. I don't know what the word is. The UI for these characters, though, they're move lists, so they're archer. I should have still had focus, because it's not actually using the aim. Uh, how do I zoom out then? So that's L1 and R1. Alright, well, let me check the buttons. Let me just check the buttons here. Settings. Controls. Control mapping. Oh, left shift space. Ah, okay. No, okay. Let's let's try. Oh, okay, awesome. Oh man, that's way better. Oh, this is perfect. Venom Fang, ouch, it's gonna poison me. It's not very groovy. <clears throat> Choco Beak. Choco Beak. Sounds more like it's a chocolate attack. Attacking me with delicious. He'd just been munching on a candy bar and he hits me with his Choco Beak. Um. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna die in one hit. Oh, they can't actually attack. Oh, they yeah, can't melee attack. And this guy can't counter me, so that's cool. I'm 
much damage did he just do? I didn't even see. Let's go check it out. This view is way better, by the way. Did he miss? He did no damage. What just happened? Did it just miss? Was it just a RNG? Failure of the RNG? Is that what it was? Okay, cool. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I can't hit both of these dudes. I can, but it'll hit him also. Maybe it's just worth it. Maybe I'll just do it. It's probably worth it. I probably should have checked the uh, order list first, but I'm still going to go for it. The turn list, sorry. Whoa, big damage to me. Alright. Not necessarily worth it. After this fight, I'm going to go back and buy some more items, by the way. Yeah, there must be a Zodiac thing. Magic can go over obstacles, right? So I might just put it there to... No, put it here. That would be handy. Ah, no! Yeah, I'll do the antidote. Shit. You're right, isn't it? Is this goblin magical? I hope not. Bum, 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 bum. Boom! Big damage. Hell yeah. It hit the chocobo in front of me. Maybe that happened last time, it didn't miss, it's just that there was... It just, instead of going over the chocobo, it just crashed into the chocobo's head. It should actually do more damage because I'm aiming further than the chocobo, so it should be, maybe it's going at a higher velocity. Anyway, I can't wait to have a knight so I can have two physical guys and then I can have the archer back and the two mages. That's that's my ideal party. That's the way I see it anyway. But I thought uh, archers could fire over obstacles, so that seems a little strange. Oh, he's pretty low on health. 
Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a little strange though, that I should have the option to either fly straight or arrow, but I guess there's so many options in this game that that might be getting a little crazy. I think I'm going to have to hunt down this Joker by the way. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. Well, I guess I might as well just go and kill these things with my monk. You dead. Can't even counterattack me. Bam! This guy's just a beast, man. What a fool, he just threw himself into the gauntlet. Oh, he's cured himself. Clever girl. Oh no, 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 I put it on the unit, not the tile. And here we go, here we go. Bam, and he can't counterattack because I'm in distance. Sweet. It, was it one focus? It might have been two, but I think you're right. I think it was one. Hitting me with the choco beak. I'm not really scared of these guys. Oh, except now I can't physically attack over here. But they're both dead. They're both just sitting in the gauntlet, just waiting for me to kill them, so no big deal. <laughs> Did that potion just do 17? Oh no, that was his um, JP or EXP. Oh. Ooh, death! Yes, bam! Oh, really? What do you mean a synergy for the White Mage melee? What's the synergy? He's just dead now. I win. I win. I get a side on attack. You dead. Easy game. GG. Alright, I gotta go back and buy some potions.
Oh, I went to the tavern. God damn it. Oh, I nearly did it again. Oh, can I even buy potions here? Where would I buy them from? Ah, here. Yeah, okay. Well, I can get high potions. I have some already. But nobody can use them. Anyway, I think potion, regular potion should do. Well, I've got a ton of money. Let's just buy heaps. Ah, I see. I'm going to stock up on basically all of this stuff. Because I have the cash. Dollar dollar. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Um, this guy is just... This is his lucky day, man. I just come in just buying everything. Here. Yeah. What does this do? I don't even know what it does, but I'm going to buy a five of them. High potion. Nobody can use this yet, so I don't think I really need it. Yeah, let me check. I'll check the auto potion. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Party rust. I think the chemist is pretty far away, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, still 165 away from the auto potion. Alright, so I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna get moving on my mission. And maybe at the end of like the next boss battle, maybe I'll, I'll that'll be the stream for the night. Two sixty-five. I thought it was three hundred now, but it used to be two hundred. Is it four hundred now, but it used to be three hundred? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got the secondaries on. I got to put secondaries on a few of my characters. This archer ability. Actually, let's see what he has here. He's an archer. 167. I can get aim too. Yeah. That's what I'm going to get. Um, I wonder if fundaments would be good for him. What would be better, items or fundaments? So he can focus, or... I guess items. Items is still the better choice now. Um, okay. Let's see this. Okay, abilities. What uh, I don't know what fundaments she has. I don't think I want her to. I think she should have like white magic or something. Black magic. I'll just put black magic on so she can do attacks from afar. No, she does not. She should also have JP boost, god damn it. Uh give me one second guys. Just give me one one second, one second, one second.
one second, one second, one second, one second. One second, one second. Alright, alright, alright. Um, okay, let me see. Learn. Fundaments of Squire, right? now. she has nothing. Nothing! Alright, let's just get going. I think we can just get moving now, huh? Save game. How far will time actually move in this game? So it's now the 25th of Aries, right? How, how far will that keep going? Like, if I keep running around, will it get to the next year eventually? And, like, will the story continue? I think I just saved it. Let me save state anyway, just in case. Alright, let's get it. Hopefully no more random battles. Alright, so this should be a boss fight, right? I think I want... I definitely want Tristana here. So now it's the choice between the Archer and the Black Mage and the White Mage. I think I should just have... I'll get the White Mage and the Black Mage. Yeah, I think that's how I'll do it. I guess, I guess maybe that's kind of the point of having something like a 50 year war, right? So no matter how much time you waste grinding, you know, it's set on these grand scales, so it can be expected that the story might not progress, because obviously the whole world is kind of static, it's all mired down in this political pollution. Um, yeah, alright, let's commence battle. Brigand's Den. The contact with the Brigade is lost, and I fear we may be lost as well. Well, this is a different setting. It looks nice. Well, oh, this is all up and down and crazy stuff. This is a totally different map to um, what I've been dealing with so far in the battles. Oh, they have a white mage. These guys are. Look at this this Irish pimp standing above uh, this Miluda. How many chapters are there in the game, Esma? They rock up, somehow they've seen me up. Oh. Well, there's a lot of them. I'm glad. oh yeah, I'm glad also that I chose my mage, just because I have two additional physical attackers in this battle. At what point should I unequip Deleter and Argus? Thieves of Sheer.
Oh, it's, it's quite hard to see everything that's going on, by the way. Jesus. Alright, so... Okay, this view might be the best. Oh, but Meluda's way at the back, so to get to Meluda... Is there a path through there? Oh, there is a path, there's a doorway there. It's really hard to see. Which one's Meluda? That one? So the question is, do I try and get in and target her? How much health does she have? Alright, so if I just sat here and focused up... Oh, the problem is I've got two characters who are going to run off and do their own thing. I think I'm going to try and take out these first couple of dudes. So, there's a white mage, so there's a couple of Irish pimps, aka thieves. A couple of white mages. So three pimps. Two mages and Miluda, who appears to be a knight. Ah, okay. Mayor Win. Mayor Win. Okay. Bryce. Alright, so who's my. F okay, so I guess I might focus. Focus is just too good to not do it at the start of the battle. But it might mean that their mages get a chance to cast defensive spells. Oh, that's right, Delita. I can't just sit there and wait. Delita and Argus are just going to run off. Shit. Bad plan. Off to a bad start. Oh, well, that's right. He's blocking the doorway now. That's okay. You stuck in the doorway, Milud? Oh no, she's not stuck because it's her own character in the doorway. Whoa, she's really playing with fire right now. What can the thieves actually steal from me, by the way? This battle is actually quite, quite tense. I kind of wasted my turn by not moving very far. Whoa, they're all reaching a formation too. I wonder if you can cast magic. I think I want to cast it on the leader. So I can hit both of them. It's raining. Interesting. I guess the potion would be more efficient if I did it after the thunder spell was cast, but regardless, I can still get some benefit to using it, right? I'm the one in a choke point here, but they don't have any black mages, so it's not so scary. Maybe I should just cast Cure. Shit. Ah, oh, it doesn't go... Alright, this might be the best use of Protect. Oh, Secondary, yeah, you're right. I didn't think of that. Ah, shit, maybe I should have cast that Cure spell. Oh, bam! 
Wow, that was massive damage. Are they both down? Are they dead? Oh no, no, they're just critical. Oh shit. That was pretty massive. That was big damage. Big damage to the big daddy. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, fool. Um. So. Oh, they got three guys in a row. So who's David and Wiston? Bryce. David, ouch. Wiston. Okay, so they might not get to attack. But I can probably kill her with me right now, right? Oh, 2 HP. I'm gonna take the risk here. David might, oh, David might actually get an attack in. Shit. It's not really worth the risk. Yeah. I think I just need to protect him. Because David is going to get close enough. Shit. Maybe it's worth it to kill her because then I have my chemist and my mage, my white mage, right there to resurrect. So I think I might just go for the kill. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna risk it. If it doesn't work, I'll, I, I can do the battle again. Yeah, but she can't reach me, I don't think. She's a knight. Bam. Down. Eat my monk shit, you motherfucker. Alright, so let's face it with the direction. I like how I was about to call her a bitch, but then I thought it might be somewhat of a, a microaggression, so I chose motherfucker to be the less offensive term, potentially less offensive term. I instinctually went toward motherfucker. Yes, he is, quite, liter quite literally. He's a homicidal maniac at this point. Maybe not maniac, he seems to have possession of his faculties. Oh, okay, Maluda's gonna just pound him. Oh, she missed! Oh, the gods have smiled on me today. Well, he's dead, though. Oh, that's such a depressing sound to make. What is he doing? Oh, he's just surrounding this guy. Hey, do they have... It looks like they have two characters on the one square. No, they didn't know. It's just a, a height thing. Oh, I'm taking some serious damage here. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Wait, I should probably check turns first. I mean, it won't make any difference. I think I'm doing the same thing regardless, but... Okay, Tristana and Josephine. Cool. If she had an attack, she probably would have killed him, right? Yeah, eat my monk shit. Monks have a different type of shit. It glows in the dark. It's slightly crystallized. You know, I, I don't want to get. I don't want to get too much into it. Um, I almost feel like I should resurrect this dude first. But no, I'll get, I'll get another chance, hopefully. And obviously I do so much more damage, so I'm more useful. So it's kind of a toss-up. He will get permadeath before I do, but... I will be more useful in battle.
I'll just try and box this guy in. Oh. Yeah. I might just do a massive heal spell. On, like, all of these characters, because he's boxed in. He's not that scary. Oh. Yeah, I think this is this is the right choice. Ah, I didn't mean the unit. Shit. I hope he doesn't die before then. I'm just gonna heal that guy. That's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. That's a lot of healing going down. Oh, she didn't heal the one character I wanted to be healed. Oh, that was a bad choice. Oh, she's resurrecting this white mage. Holy shit. Oh, it missed. Oh, I'm so lucky. So lucky. Um. Alright, so I'm going to attack and get him the hell out of here, I think. Hit and run, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I could have moved him one square further back, that would have be been better. He looks like he wants to have a dip. Bit of a dip in the old uh, water roo there. Dip it up. This is a great battle, by the way. I'm really enjoying this. It's, it's quite difficult and fun. down before she fires off this cure. That would be most most delightful for me. Look at these guys. They're just going ape. No fucks given. Look at them. They're just getting further and further away from the healers. What? Is that like an auto potion or is that his turn? Come on, come on, come on. Let me cast an item first. Let me cast an item. Oh, look at him. He's getting the hell out of there. Yes, perfect. This worked out perfectly. Now I can drop a phoenix down. I can't believe I only have four phoenix down. Why didn't I buy more of them? It's obviously such a... Ooh, that's not what I want. Such a powerful spell. What's a CT bar? When it gets to 100, they get their turn, so you can use that to tell... Oh... Oh, okay. CT. So what does CT stand for? She can just wait. Character turn. Okay, okay. Yeah, so this system is actually really similar to what they later used in Final Fantasy X. Right? She raised, raised her up before I could get a crystal. But damn it!
Oh, there's, there's a percentage chance that I'll miss here, but oh well. Oh, it's not even gonna kill! Oi, 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 oi! That's not cool. Oh yeah, maybe I should have just gone for Miluda now that she's way out in the open. I could have almost surrounded her. Ah, damn it. How much health does she have? 123. She's gonna be tough. She's gonna be tough to kill with two white mages around her also. Uh, oh, she doesn't have enough shit. Oh, she can't throw potions. Oh man, this character's pretty useless right now. I guess I can just attack. How do I get MP back, by the way? Ooh, this is actually gonna be tough now that I'm running out of MP. Oh, he's dead. Ethers. I haven't seen any ethers yet in the game. Okay, yeah. Well, I could use a black magic and flicks of death, but um, I might just make the risk here and go for the Phoenix down. I probably should check people's turns, but whatever. Let's just go for it. It'll at least waste somebody's turn to go and kill him again, right? So, four health. Yeah. This, this battle's still close. I think they have the upper hand still. Okay, alright, that helps. That helps a lot. Alright, he got the hell out of it. Probably a good decision. That potion's not gonna do shit because my monk is just gonna kill her next turn anyway. Alright, I think I got the upper hand here. Oh wow, Rend MP. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Oh, look at them. They're all bunched up. They're just waiting for it. They're waiting for it. Oh. oh, I can only hit one of them. God damn it. Oh no, I can hit two of them. Yeah, of course I can hit of course I can hit two of them. Ah uh, yeah, I probably should have checked that first, but okay, it's fine. Oh, is her speed better than mine? Ah. Oh, what happened? Did she just cure my units? Or was that my dude cast a cure? What just happened? No, that was my dude casted that. Bam, bam. Good damage. Um, I think I should just go kill this mage. Yeah, she did. And she's facing the wrong way. She'll never even see it coming. Look at her. She's concentrating so much. This is a tragic end. This is tragic. This is hard to watch. But now I also have a chance to get a crystal here if I really want to. Maybe I should not kill Miluda until that crystal pops up. But maybe Ramza and, and Dirty Face, whatever his name is, Del Delita will kill her before. My white mage seems pretty useless at this point. Just resorting to physical attacks.
They haven't stolen anything from me yet, that's pretty good. Maybe I don't want to Phoenix down this. Maybe I just want to take care of business. Hey, I did pretty well in this battle, I think. I got off to a poor start, brought it back, it was close for a while, and then I overcame. Ooh, she blocked. Shit. He has white magic. He's got tons of MP. Holy shit. Here. Oh, maybe I should just kill that guy. Oh, whatever. I'll just cast up white magic on him and kill him. Shit, not bad. Yeah, I probably won't bother trying. Probably just gonna take care of business, you know? You know what I'm saying? Well, she's got a parry ability. Bam! 60! Gut punch to the gut, obviously. I felt pretty good. I guess the best that can happen is Miluda runs away and my white mage manages to get a crystal. Oh, I think I can oh, I almost box her in. Can she parry when she's facing in the wrong direction? Shit. It's not really any... Uh, I guess I can almost block her in if I go here. Crystal! Oh, it'll be freaking Delita's turn. No? Where the hell's, where the hell's Delita going? This was from a thief, right? Acquire abilities, yes please. Aim plus two. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Why not take aim plus two? This was a great battle, by the way. This was really enjoyable. Just the flow of it. And I actually, it actually felt like... Okay, so I did get lucky a couple of times that they just missed with the RNG. So that was lucky. So I did have luck help me, but it also felt like I made good decisions. Yeah, it might not have been the case. It could, be, it could have been purely luck. But it felt like I made good decisions, so it added a lot of intensity to it. And made it really feel rewarding. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I didn't really want to move there. Or oh, whatever. Oh, he can still cast shit. Oh, it's raining. I should cast thunder. The. This 
motherfucker standing gonna be standing right next to this this woman if this crystal pops up? Oh, she's dead. Nah, it's a story battle. It's fine. Anyway. So it resists us not in your life would be spared. Ah, so she did. She did just have to get the critical. So in a bronze shield, sweet bronze shield was a good one. Yeah, I smashed it. Well, yeah, as if there was ever a doubt, really. Seriously, it appeared to have ebb and flow, but if you know the intricacies and the subtleties of the game, like I do, you just know it's it's all flow, no ebb. I'm no more than chattel to you, am I? So I have my head and be done with it. Not very nice. Ooh, that's a really good question. So that's the first sign of him really questioning his perspective or people's perspectives in the world. Hmm, yeah, I might be up for it. I might be up for it. Yeah, I'll get this really angry. I mean, when he places it like that, though, when it, when he says it such as he does, it, it seems like he has good motives for that. When he says, if we let her go, then they're going to come after us and they're going to kill us. I guess it's kind of conjecture by him, but that's his motivation. It, it kind of makes sense. So Delita's the first one to turn. That's interesting. I guess that's why Delita ends up... So Okay, so this is still flashback, right? So when I get to chapter 2, probably going to go to present day. That's why I think I saw Delita. Maybe Delita defects first. Yeah, no, you're right. That's... Uh, yeah. Yeah, good point. Oh, wow, she's not helping her cause. She turns her back, walks away, limps away. like the leader is going to get expelled. same time they've besieged the castle. Wow, why doesn't he just... BAM! Whoa! This guy just Optimus primed it. That was some... 
that was some uh, Transformers the original cartoon movie shit right there. I did not actually remember that. Is Alma Erasmus' full sister or half sister? Half sister, I think. The, um, I mean, the Corpse Brigade must be pretty strong to actually get to get within this castle and cause so much damage and actually get away with Tetra. Yeah. Shit. Hey, why are... Is there a reason why these nodes are flashing? Is there? Is that because there's something new there for me, or is it just by default they flash? Uh, okay, let's save game and then let's check out what's going on. I should try and not use uh, save states. Yeah, that's what I'm... That's, that's, that's the plan. It's kind of cheating to use save states, right? So I should try not to use them very often. I forgot if I saved it. Save so quick. Here. Okay, cool. Hey, Axe, you're still watching. It's just been Asmo chatting away. Uh, I don't think I want to scum past that stuff. How, when did the word scum become the the um, prescribed word to describe that? Oh yeah, 438 for Monk. Hells yeah. Cyclone. Turn in a circle attacking with backhand blows. That'd be sweet to watch that. Some Genki Sudo shit. Pummel. Um, so you think I should get this one, right? Chakra, get out of here. Or a blast. Shockwave. What does it mean by rend the earth? Does that just mean it's causing an earthquake? Yeah. Oh, and it goes in every direction. Shit. This monk is ridiculous. Doom fist. Shit. I wish I had a doom fist in real life. Sounds pretty useful. So does this only restore my HPMP or other people's HPMP? Because that would be pretty damn handy. Perhaps I should just get Aura Blast to start with and then go to Chakra next, but if Chakra heals other people's HPMP, that's pretty damn good, right? Really? Oh, it's tough between Chakra and Aura Blast. I might go Chakra to start. What do you mean on even level? Oh, okay, okay. What do you think? The, uh, Chakra, restoring MP doesn't have any effect on me. Okay, I'm gonna start with Aura Blast. I think I'm gonna start with Aura Blast. Oh shit, Aura Blast sounds pretty good. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Bam, learned. 
I'm just gonna let it. Should probably learn some of this other stuff. Or maybe I'll just keep saving. No, there's just nothing going for it. Okay, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I'm just gonna save the other stuff. I have no, no real interest in improving them yet. Oh, actually, do I need to... Oh, it's just gonna go to my martial arts already, right? Automatically? Yeah, so, cool. What does he have? He's the knight. He's only at 232. Yeah. Oh, there's lots of stuff I want to learn. Parry. Parry could be good. Should I just learn parry? I think I'm gonna save. I hold a potion is 400. You guys are right. Yeah, I might go for parry. Yeah, let's do it. Oh wait, he's not even a knight now, he's an archer, right? Is he? He's an archer. Why does he not have any archer JP? What's up with that? Oh, he wasn't in that battle. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. 